Mandag board will be voting on its regional transportation plan later this week. This is that plan that is worth more than $160 billion. Its aim is to shape the region's transit system for the next 30 years. Gay with size, Teresa Sardina joins us live from Poway City Hall. This is where the meeting is set to begin tonight. Teresa? Good evening, Logan. Good evening, Senigo. I'm inside the City Hall Chambers right now, and we are discussing it because tonight they're holding a meeting at 7 ahead of Sandeg's big meeting on Friday. Yes, this is to discuss this pricey plan worth billions of dollars. So bottom line, if you drive, you could possibly be paying for it. And we know that so many cities across the county are discussing this plan that is on the agenda. But we are here tonight in Poway, speaking with Poway Mayor Steve Voss. So good to finally meet you and talk to you in person. Hey there. Good to see you. Good to see you too. All right, we have a meeting tonight at 7 o'clock. What is your message tonight to board members? I wanted my council to have the opportunity to stand up and be counted where they stand on this so-called regional transportation plan. It's not really a regional transportation plan. It's an urban transit plan that's going to leave out most of the county. And I have a feeling we're going to say a unanimous no tonight. Okay, we have information on the screen. And now this is Sandag's plan worth more than $160 billion, a four cent per mile tax, two half cent regional sales taxes were proposed for 2022 and 2028. Drivers could be charged a few cents for every mile they drive locally as a way to fund road and transit improvements. And we're seeing a shift within local politicians across the county. And you and I were discussing just last week, the San Diego mayor, Todd Gloria, he changed his mind. He is in favor of this transportation plan and for that mileage tax. And But then he made a different plan, saying now they can move forward with the plan, but not that mileage tax. What are you taking from that? I call it the now you see it, now you don't tax. They're going to have to make up that money somewhere. And the only somewhere they have available is us. They want to make it so pricey and painful to drive your car that you're forced on to transit. They want to use the money from the cars to pay for transit. They want to convert 819 miles of highway lanes into managed lanes. That equals taxed or fee lanes. Uh, they're looking for it coming and going. It's not a plan that takes into account what's needed in the entire county. And I'm a big no. Well, Sandag has been rolling out multiple transportation plans. In fact, just recently we were talking about the blue line and they're worth millions of dollars. And just looking at the entire county, how is this going to impact the underserved communities? Because as of right now, the gas prices are pretty high. This actually hurts the underserved communities because the kind of taxes they're talking about to pay for this plan, this boondoggle, they trickle down to everybody. If you have a mileage tax, your carpenter, your, your uh, lawn service, uh, everybody that delivers or comes to you, they're going to have to raise their prices to you so that they don't take it in the shorts. So we just need to say no. I think the people are starting to speak up. And uh, maybe one day we'll be able to turn this around. But Friday, I'm a big no. Yeah, Sandag has her big meeting on Friday. But tonight, what are you getting from your board members as far as how they are in favor of this plan? Well, I, I can only tell you based on prior council meetings where we've talked about it in very general terms. And I haven't heard any support from it, nor have I heard any support for it from residents. And that's the most important thing. Residents are speaking up loud and clear saying, no, nope, not on my watch. All right, Mayor Voss, thank you so much. All right, we'll, con we'll talk more for 6 o'clock. So this meeting is tonight at 7 o'clock ahead of Sandex's big meeting on Friday. Again, San Diego, if this does pass, if you drive, this could be a big impact for you, and you could possibly be paying for it. So we're here live in Poway at City Hall Chambers. We'll have more coming up at 6. Logan? Yeah, a lot of questions and concerns, especially it seems like people are focusing on that per mile possible tax that you drive. All right, friend. Uh, Teresa? Four cents. Thanks. Four cents. Teresa, thanks.